the southern snack where life is too short to be serious the search is over we have finally found the two new baja spinoff flavors laguna lemonade and point break punch laguna lemonade was a pain to find and if anybody's watching out there that has any impact on the pepsi plants in the 757 hampton roads area more specifically suffolk virginia i can you please relay to whoever runs operations over there or someone that's within the webs of that to do better when when we're getting closer to uh those three flavors that are dropping for the american themed uh dues please do better because seeing all these stores just get point break punch and no mango lemonade it's concerning because now they're going to sit there probably for at least a week or two and not have Laguna Lemonade. That hurts them as a store. They could be selling these flavors together. And now, you know, people are like, where's this flavor? So anyways, that's just my remark. It, it's going to be a mess if they don't distribute and produce and distribute as they should. Which is to bring all the flavors in together. Even if we got to wait a little bit longer. You got to do it together. So anyways, um, initial reviews say Laguna Lemonade's the star of the show. We'll have to see... I thought Mango Jim was pretty good. This apparently is a sweeter version of that, of course, with the lemonade. Um, Point Break Punch, people say it's a raspberry pineapple um, punch. I would argue that, and cherry. I would argue that there's blueberry in here too, because, I mean, you look at it, there's blueberries. There's clearly blueberries. It may be a hint of blueberry, but it's in there. So, I mean, mostly raspberry and pineapple. A lot of people are saying it's just okay. So, yeah, uh, we'll have to see what I think. Please subscribe, like, and comment on this video. But yeah, um, there's the artwork. Very creative. The sun is a, I guess it's, I don't know what fruit that is. Oh, that's a lemon. The sun is a lemon in this one. Someone pointed out the sun is a pineapple here in this one. But you got all kinds of, you know, beachy vibes. Definitely spring break, uh, attitude for Mountain Dew. So with that said, I'm more intrigued by Point Break Punch. I really am. But y'all are saying this one's the gun to go for Laguna Lemonade. So we're going to try Laguna Lemonade first and then we'll switch over to Point Break Punch. If we can open Laguna Lemonade. Very strong mango smell. You can tell this thing is going for it all with the mango. Yeah, very reminiscent, and there's some Baja in the undertones too. Very reminiscent of Mango Gem, but with that tart, citrusy twist of the lemonade. Huh. I don't know that I like that a lot. Like, I thought, you know, with everyone saying, oh, I love this, this is amazing. You know, I I just don't find this one to be that great. Um, I just dropped the cap, so we'll have to worry about that in a little bit. I don't know. And Poppy Eats, you know, he, he reviewed these when they first, he bought them on eBay. When the employees were getting to try them. And he's, as, as far as I can remember, he was not a, the biggest fan of these either. He loved, he, he just tried the American flavors. He loved the peach lemonade. But I I think I kind of agree. It's just an okay dude. Like, I liked Mango Jim more. I don't know. I can see why people like that. And a lot of people love the lemonade flavor. I've always said that Spark is overrated. Just me, maybe. But yeah, I mean, if you love lemonade and you love mango and you think those two things kind of work together, then yeah, good for you. Um, for me, I'd, I'd give it a six. It's, it's definitely one of my least favorite Mountain Dews. 
to date. Not terrible, but it's definitely my least one of my least favorites. Um, definitely way better than Flaming Hot and some of these other dudes. But I, I don't know. I like mangoes. I don't know. So Point Break Punch. Again, a lot, of, a lot of fruity flavors in here. Papa Eats also said he was a big fan of this one. A lot of people are saying this one's just okay. So, I'm intrigued. Ooh. Holy window cleaner. Yeah. Um, it's decent. But honestly, it's just like it's a punch. That's that's really it reminds me somewhat of Overdrive. I know Overdrive has mango and lime, so you know it's it's a little less tropical than that, right? Definitely heavy emphasis on the pineapple, the raspberry. I think the notes of blueberry are kind of coming through. So are the cherry. I don't know. I'm conflicted. I don't know if I want to sit here and say, eh, that's like a seven. Or if I want to say, eh, it's kind of on the same level as mango lemonade. Yeah, I, it just doesn't really stand out a lot. Like, Typhoon, to me, I enjoyed that profile a little bit better than this. So, I don't know. I, I think it, it, I think it's on the same level as Laguna Lemonade. I think it's okay. I'd give it a six. Um, nothing that's going to be super memorable about this flavor, so... I don't know. And I wasn't the biggest Typhoon fan either. Just remember that. It just wasn't doing it for me. These pineapple based dudes kind of feel mellow. So, anyways, uh, yeah. I'm looking forward to the future flavors that are coming this summer with three American flavors and then the 7 Eleven exclusives. So, uh, just stay tuned for those reviews. And other than that, yeah, I mean. I was going crazy trying to find these, and here we are. It's just okay. Anyways, other than that, I will see y'all around. Yeah!